Hey guys, Min here. So check this out. I got a business card. It's just not a regular business card. And I can take my phone and just do this. And when it pops up, I just click on it. And look, there is my contact information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you jump away and say, hey, I've seen this video before, I'm telling you, this is a different video. So please stay with me a little longer and I'll tell you why it is. Now, in this video, it is a video about making a smart business card. But before we do that, we need to understand what defines a smart business card. So a smart business card is basically a business card that allows you to send your contact information to the other person without them having to type in any details, any information into their phone. So typically, I've seen the smart business card sold on the market today simply uses a URL to point somewhere else, such as a website or link tree or even to contact information or something like that. So in my last video, I've showed you how to create your own infrastructure to support that, which points to a VCF file and even a place to store the VCF file. If you want to check out that video, please check it out here. Okay, but that was the hard way. So in this video, I'll show you an easier way to do so by simply paying for the service. So all the backhand work is done for you. And the best part about all that is there are more additional statistics and analytics information by leveraging a service such as BeaconStack. And that brings us to BeaconStack. BeaconStack is our today's sponsor, and I've been wanting to say this for a long time, and BeaconStack is my first official sponsor. So thank you, BeaconStack. So check them out, and you will support this channel. So before we jump into the weeds of things, I want to talk to you about how I'm doing this demonstration. All my demonstrations are done on the iPhone to keep things simple. And I will be providing some QR codes along the way to make it easier for you if you are watching this video on a computer, or if you are watching this video on the TV, just simply grab your phone and scan it and follow along. But if you're doing it on your phone, then what you wanna do is you wanna snapshot that portion of the QR code and then simply go into your photos and click on the QR code. That will jump you directly to that link. Okay, so let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is create our QR code. To do that, we simply go to our BeaconStack website, which is here or you can just simply scan the QR code here. Once you're in the Beacon Stack website, you will need to set up an account um, because in order to leverage some of the dynamic QR codes, we need to set up an account there. There is a free trial for two weeks, so you can do it that way. I have already set up my account, so I will go ahead and log in. <clears throat> and once you log in, there is immediately a button for you to create your QR code. So simply click on that, and there are different options to create QR codes for. You could create a digital uh, business card, you could create a link to a website or to a link page. Now, a link page is pretty cool because it's one of their new features that basically creates something like a link tree where you can have all sorts of links to your other social media links and that will work as well for your, for your business card. Or if you're a restaurant, you create restaurant menus and all sorts of things. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Now, for our purposes, we're gonna create a digital business card, a V-card. And from there, we can choose the format. We'll choose the basic format, and we'll create one for Hugo. So we'll select an image, and we'll upload the image. We'll go from the photo library, and we'll select one for Hugo. Here it is, that's a good one. We'll choose that, and choose the crop. All right, once it's uploaded, the image is there, and let's go ahead and enter the name for our contact, which is Hugo, and last name Chen, and designation is dog. So once you type in all this information, you can go down and just simply, you can even, cite, you can even select the uh, links to different social medias as well, and simply click on next. And you have to select your design or templates. There are different type of QR codes you can select from. I'll simply select the most basic uh, QR code template. From there, the QR code is pretty much done. Now, there is an option to generate short URLs, and you want to select that one because the URL length will determine the size of your QR code. The longer the URL, the 
bigger, the more complex the QR code is going to be. So you want it to be shorter. And you also have the option of selecting a GPS location. We want to do that. And we'll go click Next. And the QR code is now generated. And we can go in and just change that to Hugo and save. And that our QR code is saved. You can see it right here. You could download it and save it as a JPEG or save it as anywhere else. And then we can use it to uh, print it out onto labels and so on. Now, one of the cool things about this is that Beacon Stack gives you the ability to create something called Apple Wallet Pass. So the Apple Wallet Pass here actually let you send it to yourself. I'll see, I'll do that. Or I can copy the UR code, URL, okay? And if I decided to say, hey, let's check this out, I'll go to the new URL. What it gives you is something like this. So you can actually add it to your Apple Wallet. And if I go back to my Apple Wallet, and I will see that, look, it's Hugo's contact. It's right there. Now I can just share it with anybody and by simply pulling up on my Apple Wallet. And so I could just use my other phone and I could just scan it right here. And look, there's Hugo's contact again. So that's pretty handy. But back to the point. We want to create a business card like this one that I can actually tap and scan. So to do that, we need to carry that URL information over to a NFC tag. And I have an NFC tag right here. <clears throat> so I'll use this quick NFC tag. Very easy, it's like a sticker. I'll take another business card here. I'll stick it on the back. And what I need to use is something called NFC tools. The first, I need to copy the shortened URL from the uh, Beacon Stack website and just copy it and go to uh, our NFC tool, write, and simply add a record, add URL, URI, and paste that URL right there. So we'll take out the HTTPS right there, okay and we'll click OK. Now we just have to write that into our little sticker that I put on the back of the card. Oop. All right, there it is. And it writes. Now the only thing I need to do is print out the QR code and paste it over this one. So to do that, I have some of these one by one inch um, stickers. And you can just stick it into any printer and it will print out your QR code. You simply just you know, use the template on Word and then print it out. Um, I'll put all the information on the details, the, the parts that you need in the descriptions below. Okay, so now I can just put it over like so. So we have the QR code and now let's just test it out just by simply tapping. And I can open it up. And there it is. Hugo it is. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so now you have your QR code generated. What we want to do is we can actually give it out and do all sorts of things. But we want to see the statistics of it. One of the cool things of the Beacon Stack service is you, you can see a lot of detailed statistics information on how does each one of the QR codes perform. We can go back into the overview and we can see the uh, list of QR codes that are available. We can see the number of scans and so on. But let's go into more details. So for example, I want to learn more about the Hugo QR code that we just created. So we can actually go into uh, the details here and see what's going on just by simply click on the scans. And we can see the last seven days, number of users, and we can see the uh, scan type, this device is being used, it's scanned by um, iOS, the number of places, and we can even see uh, locations where these things were being scanned. And I'll show you one that I created a while back with a little bit more information than just two scans. 
So we can actually go into the scans itself, and we can go down and see that, okay, 15 scans, uh, two users been scanning this, um, and we can actually see the type, you know, it's Mac or iOS, and we can see the type of it being used. And we can actually see that the locations of those scans as well. So those are also very useful information that you do not get elsewhere. So I can actually see the location tracking features being used in my other video solution for uh, the video dog tag for Hugo. Uh, if you want to check that one out, check it out here. As well okay so the statistics information is something that you do not get when you do a static QR code which also by the way you can generate the static QR codes in this menu here as well by simply going to QR code and select static so now there are some caveats I want to talk about and including some of the questions people are asking number one do I need internet access for this solution yes Everything was shown here, you requires you to have internet access. If you do not have internet access, this will not work. Why? It's because this solution simply leverages a pointer, URL pointer, just like most of the smart cards out there. It points it to the QR codes, actually, in fact, a URL sharpener we saw, and the statistics information are all gathered from the URL sharpener. Who would be using this service? Well, the QR code as a service I think a lot of people will be leveraging that post-COVID world because in the post-COVID world, you already see everything in the restaurant space is using QR codes. This is a great solution for you to host it from on a, a location that you can trust and you can rely on. The other thing is that because we're, free, we're seeing people again post-COVID, we're going to be reaching out and contacting. So this is a way that I'm going to use when I see my customers as well. So what's the difference between the solutions from the first video and this one? There's a good number of differences, especially when the first solution, like we mentioned before, is mostly self-hosted and self-contained information, other than say v v card link, which can store the VACF file, but you can actually store it in your own web server and so on. But this solution is someone else providing that, those type of infrastructure for you. So this is a little bit different. But of course, because of that, there is also additional information that we gain from the statistics aspects of it, analytics aspects of it. So that's something I think is very valuable for people doing business as well. And of course, how much is it? Well, the price is around $5 a month, uh, but it's billed annually, so it's $60 upfront. But it saves you the hassle of locating a place to put your VCF files or a URL website to host something like web, you know, Linktree or anything else third party. This is all contained. And it's better than buying one of the smart cards because you get more than one QR code that you can be generating from and lots of other additional features that those things do not have. So I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. If it is, please give me a thumbs up. And also, all the parts and materials for you to make your own smart business card are shown in the descriptions below, so check them out. And also, be sure to check out some of these other videos that may be relevant to you. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!